Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Money Making Millionaire Pizza Gorus on Marketplace. Yeah. Yeah. And we all know that's not true. <laughs> if you're new to this series, this is pretty much how it works. Basically, I have three episodes to go from zero to $1,000 by flipping free items on Marketplace for a profit. We are currently at $206.15, but we're about to make this $600. Also, with every cent I earn from this series, I'm going to be giving all that money to you guys. And all you have to do is like the video and comment down below your favorite line from the video or just making fun of me. That's fine too. <laughs> so I've been searching on Marketplace and looking around and seeing that there's been garage sales happening for the weekend. So on Sunday, I'm going to as many garage sales as possible to try and get as many free items from as many rich people so that I can steal their items and make profit from them. I'm gonna try and aim to list 15 items for this week and try and steal a $400 profit to get to 60%. And so we headed to this fake garage sale, which wasn't even a garage sale, but all the items are just stacked up at the front in the driveway. Now, hopefully there's something good in there that we could actually sell for good profit. Not gonna lie, there was some pretty dope stuff in there. <laughs> so from the first place, we ended up getting five different items. Then we headed off to the second place where we got three different items. Then we went to the third place, which we got one item from and the item was pretty bad. But the fourth place was in a rich area and the item we got was, woo, it was pretty good. <laughs> we got nine different items from about six different houses. We went to their properties and we stole their items and now we're gonna sell it for some profit. Profit. The first item is this HP printer, which is about from the 1980s. So I've actually listed this up for $20 on Marketplace, and I can almost guarantee you I will sell this product. This one's definitely a rare find. It's a toaster. We all love our toast. We love our bread. We love butter on our bread. I don't know why I sounded American. So I'm going to be putting this up for $5, and hopefully someone can carry on the legacy by toasting some bread and eating it. Yeah, that's good. This one for sure gives me a hard one because it's a therapeutics replacement HEPA filter. You know how much I love these? Well, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I'm gonna be putting this up for $10 and wish me luck with it. Probably won't sell. This is called a bedside table or you would like to call it a coffee table. We actually had to clean this old raggedy table because it was sitting on the street for one week and we got it spotless clean. So I'm gonna be listing this for $10 and I can probably guarantee I'll get $20 or $30. My normal tax is to say that someone's paying 20 for this, but in reality, they're just paying 15. And then people just keep bidding higher and higher, and I get the highest price. What can I say? I'm a good salesman. Now, I really don't know what the hell this is. It kind of looks like a decoration for a house. Not that I would put it in my house. It almost feels like it could be a bird cage as well. See, I told you. That's why I'm selling it for $10. Hopefully, someone can treat it as a bird cage, mate. I also listed all the ordinary items that I had here as well. And to your surprise, a lot of things sold in one day. Day. I have so much respect for Indu Nil because he wanted these grass trimmer blades. As soon as I saw Indu Nil at my door, I was super excited. Are you the grass trimmer blades, dude? <laughs> Thank you for that. We had so many messages about the frozen drink machine and the house decoration. You know, the bird cage that I was talking about? Yeah, that. I've come to an agreement with myself. Oh crap, sorry guys. Uh, it comes with the terms and conditions. I have to give you away. So, you know, she came to the house, gave me $20, and that's an easy profit for us. And then we had Dinesh, the angry Tasmanian devil, come to my house for that bedside table. He looks pissed. Is that good or? Yeah? Man, what does this guy think? I have unlimited cash or something. What's up? What do you want to do? Okay. I don't think that dude liked me at all and I can't blame him. He was acting like he's been on his period for six months and can't get rid of it. But we had to move on pretty quickly because Wasanta picked up the high definition set top box for $5. He's here right now. Thank you. Have a good one. Now we can act like 26% is good enough, but you guys know that ain't good enough. We gotta hit 100%. And I promised you earlier that I was gonna list 15 items on my marketplace, and I gotta do that in warp speed. Watch this. Woo, okay. <laughs> now here's how I did it. Easy profit, boys. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, okay. I may have just pulled off the biggest scam in the history of our country. Yes, you're probably thinking, how the frick could you get that for free? And so was I. I messaged this dude named Chris and I was like, hey, are these actually Versace? And is this actually for free? And he's like, 100% real, 100% for free. And yes, I was still a little bit wary whether these were real or not. And I actually searched up the model number on Google and it came up with images of the exact same glasses, model number, and saying that it's made in Italy. So I believe it. I believe the internet. These actually go for $167.95. But because they have minor scratches and a couple wear and tears, I'm going to be selling it for $35. These are another one where I thought, what the heck? Why would someone give them away for free? Turns out they were moving away overseas. So I was like, I'll take them. Now they are wrecked a little bit, but they do go for retail $138. And I'm going to be listing them for $40. They have really good sound and I tried them out. This is your simple video game nerd, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So I'm going to be selling it for $20 and hopefully I can get this the hell out of my house because I don't play games. Wow, before you guys think, what the hell is this? I was thinking the same. So I did some digging and retail it goes for $41.95 and I'm going to be listing it for $10. Hopefully someone can purchase this. And that someone was Rio. That dude messaged me within like five minutes of listing the item. It's all working fine, so... That's it. Thank you, man. These two really surprised me as well when I came across it because these are really good tennis rackets. Now, I listed the adult racket for $30 because it is a really good racket. It's around $300 retail. And then the kids racket I listed for $15. And now being a salesman, we have to get the best prices for all these items. And so we used our master plan and actually made a sale with the Blue Beats headphones. But the only problem was I had to drive one hour to drop it off. But the good part about it is you got to do what you got to do. We're getting paid $25, baby. Let's go. Uh, you take that. Do they work good though? Thank you. Yeah, they're really good. How much do these normally work? Like 140. Oh, I wish I had more money. For this. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> She deserves the elephant award for the nicest person. Is that even an award? I don't think so. We did end up with a total of $302.63 for the week. And I'm telling you right now, we made plenty more sales. But you'll have to see that soon.